Well, I believe City Week is a landmark in everybody's calendar every year. And the reason for that is obviously because of the quality of the sessions and the quality of the participants. It's very interactive. It's a good opportunity to hear what the status of the different parts of the industries are, what the overall concerns are, and what are the underlying themes. So I think it's a very good update for everyone interested in financial services in Europe. This year I was speaking in a session that had to do with culture, governance, and trust in financial institutions. And I, can, I was super happy to participate in this session because I think that these themes have become even more prevalent given the challenges that we're confronted now with the COVID-19 crisis, which has highlighted to us the importance of having a good system of resilience, having the ability to operate under very difficult circumstances and having trust on those that are providing us with some essential services, in our case, of course, financial services. The quality and the rates of the speakers of City Week overall, I think it's always very good. In my particular session, I think it was outstanding and I learned a lot from the rest of the panelists in my session and from the moderator. But as I said at the beginning, I think in general, you know, the, the, the quality of the speakers is, is top notch and this year was no different. The experience with the digital platforms has been an ongoing challenge for us over the last six months. I think we have all learned a lot. We've become relatively proficient at working in this new environment. But I must admit that working with the city uh, was the city week uh, platform was actually quite seamless for me. The preparation was good and I was able to enjoy it not just as a panelist, but also as a participant in some of the sessions that I attended. Well, for future events, I think it's very important that City Week remains to be sensitive to the salient issues of the moment. Of course, for this year, the COVID-19 crisis has been very much at the forefront. I probably anticipate that next year will continue to be in everybody's mind, but also we need to think about the medium and long term. So from the financial services industry, I think the two key important aspects that we need to make sure that continue to be in the agenda is technology and how technology is integrating into our lives and to implement our financial services. And the second one is culture and trust, you know, making sure that we have the adequate people working in the adequate manner to provide those services to the citizens.